program, these are the headlines this Wednesday. Exclusive, the father of a woman whose twins died while she was in a coma on the moment she was given the tragic news. Her eyes just fell at the wall, said you can see that the pain she was going through. I didn't like doing it, but it had to be done. Stafford steps back in time. The memory lane that will support dementia patients. The care given to people... The care given to people with dementia has come under the spotlight in recent weeks with a recent report criticising the service provided by some hospitals and residential homes. More than 80% of people in care homes have dementia and campaigners say better facilities are needed to meet their needs. Rajiv Popat reports. Council cuts mean care homes across the country are being forced to close. But with more and more of us living longer, the demand for residential homes has never been greater. The Limewood Dementia Centre in Stafford is a new state-of-the-art home for people with dementia. The main feature is a 50s-style street scene called the High Street. It's been done with Stafford High Street in mind, so those memories of years ago. We've got the picture house, um, we've got a pub based on the Bear Grill in Stafford. Um, so it's familiar sort of surroundings with the little hairdressers with the old hairdressing sort of symbol. Why is that so important to people with dementia? I just think it's, it's letting them live um, as we would live, um, sort of accessing the community. The University of Stirling helped to design the centre, which is part of a £25 million partnership between Staffordshire County Council and a housing trust. You don't feel alone because they're all very friendly. What do you think of the 1950s style decor and the high street? It's all right, because we remember it like that, you see. Well, I do. <laughs> so there. It's really helpful for us, you know, to be able to come into a very family-orientated atmosphere and um, I almost feel part of the family. A recent report by the Alzheimer's Society indicates that as many as 80% of people currently in care have dementia or memory problems. Throughout the UK, dementia affects around 800,000 people, mainly in those aged over 65. And here in Staffordshire, the number of pensioners aged over 85 is predicted to double by 2025. Something like this that uh, gets a, a gold standard from a university as the way forward uh, is what we want to do here in Staffordshire. There comes a time when people do need residential care. It's important that care they receive is top, top quality. Uh, and we, we move forward with new uh, innovative ideas like the 1950s style street scene. Campaigners say dementia is one of the main causes of disability later in life. They believe more money should be spent helping those with the condition. Rajiv Pobbert, ITV News, Staffordshire. Well, we're joined now by Martina Kane from the Alzheimer's Society. Martina, thank you for joining us. Um, we heard some figures there that 80% of people will be affected by dementia in some form. And certainly by 2025, those figures will double. Do you think then we need to have more of these types of centre across the country? I mean, I think what's really positive about um, the centre that they've got in Stafford is it really seems to be offering a sort of person-centred approach um, to dementia care. So they've set it up so um, it reflects Stafford High Street, which may be something that the people who are from that area who are now in care um, are, uh, can identify with. And that was something you were really hearing on the film. And that can really lead to a better quality of life for people with dementia. Do these centres actually substitute other more traditional treatment? Like um, drugs, for instance. They're not a substitute for, um, for traditional care and definitely certain elements of care such as um, helping someone to wash and dress is never going to be replaced by something like this. But what this can provide is um, sort of interaction and something which will help someone um, make the most of their day-to-day -day life. And how does it help the families of people with dementia, Martina? 
Um, it can really help someone uh, to engage um, uh, with their family. Um, if they, uh, often with dementia, um, someone has um, a more easier access to memories that they have from the past than what they have on, their, um, on a day-to-day -day life. And a facility such as this might enable someone um, to have a talking point with a member of their family who's visiting. It may support a family to be able to have um, conversations and, and, and uh, create some um, more positive feeling for the person with dementia through those connections. Martina came from the Alzheimer's Society. Thank you for joining us this evening. Finally, a reminder of tonight's top stories on our programme. In an exclusive interview, the father of a woman whose twin's life support was switched off while she was in a coma has told ITV News Central at the moment she was given the tragic news. Jocelyn Bennett from Birmingham regained consciousness in hospital on Sunday, unaware that her babies, Melody and Rose, had died. The police watchdog, the IPCC, has decided that no police officers are to face misconduct charges over the murder of a hairdresser. Holly Gazard was stabbed to death by her ex-boyfriend while at work in a salon in Gloucester in February. And more than 50 people will be cared for at a state of the traditional pub, news agents and working cinema to help improve patients' lives. Well, the National Annie